Hello, Sula here from mistyhilltops.com. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm working on a traveler's notebook layout that I titled Bird Home, and I'm using the digital version of the collection Plant Lady from Echo Park. I'm starting with uh, the background, and I'm using um, cardstock for all my scrap, uh, from all my um, traveler's notebook pages. And so I'm just gluing uh, the um, paper onto the background, and that um, forms my page then. Um, I am um, using the digital version, that means I have printed out everything and then um, uh, cut everything out. Sometimes fussy cut, sometimes I use um, dies to cut things out. I do have um, things where I uh, just ensure that the print size um, coordinates with some of my dies and I have things saved. I create everything in silhouette and I have things saved in silhouette in the right kind of sizes where I have dies for so that it's easy for me to just um, um, recre recreate some um, pages or create some pages without having to reinvent the wheel every time and that makes the process a lot faster for me. So here I have um, this background paper and I, I want to pay attention a little bit to where um, the page divides that will be cut apart at the end um, as I usually do when I um, scrap across two pages. Um, I basically I treat my traveler's notebook pages like a scrapbook layout. Just one single canvas though I am mindful of that um, that um, line down the middle there that um, separates the two pages so I, I do uh, keep that in mind when I place photos and stuff so that I wouldn't be cutting right through the center of something important on the photos. I have cut through photos in the past um, so I'm not someone who would not even shy away from that but um, I usually do pay attention to where I would have to cut through. Like here Two, I am using just something to um, give me a guideline where the center of the page there will be so that um, it's just gonna supposed to barely cover and so because the photo will cover the rest there. It's supposed to look like a paper strip but I saved ink on the back side there because um, the rest would have been covered up by, um, by the photo and so rather than um, printing this whole strip um, I just stop it right where the photo starts and I try to be mindful again where the page is separated or divided. Then I have this die cut piece. Um, I created this um, birdhouse where I just watercolored it and then I had meant to glue that down first but then I realized I had forgotten to glue it behind a layer that where it's supposed to go so I just cut off that pole on which that birdhouse sits and that way I can easily tuck it back on, underneath the page there and um, I was aiming for using similar colors that I have on um, the um, papers um, with uh, those birdhouses that I'm adding to my page there. So um, I try to, I watercolored them and try to um, match the colors to the colors that are going on on my page. Then here I am adding my title and this is um, a little stamp set. Um, it's an alpha stamp set that is like little flags and then I just usually fussy cut them out. It's easy enough and then um, then I can assemble the word and there's one more part that goes with this um, where I have stamped an additional part to the title. Then I have these two little birds um, that are also die cut and then watercolored and then I have these three watercolor uh, color flowers that I am adding as well to my pages. And um, so these are die cut flowers that I watercolored um, and then added some um, rhinestones in the center there or something like that so that um, just they look like flowers and then I have this little set of um, foliage from a uh, from I think it might have been the same um, die cut set and uh, uh, but I decided to keep the foliage completely white I thought sometimes it looks really elegant to keep it white and I'm really glad that I did I liked the way this page turned out in the end um, and so um, um, yeah, not everything has to be colored all the time and it will look nice and elegant if um, I keep from coloring everything. And I am trying to achieve this kind of um, visual triangle there, but with this bird I 
I would have liked to tuck it right next to the photo, but I also realized then that would mean it would go right uh, across that um, cut line of the two pages and that's not going to work. And so I decided to just um, put it there um, at the, toward the left side there of um, this whole um, photo cluster there. And then once again, before I glue down the flower, I want to put the foliage down first, make sure it's all attached in good ways. And then I have, uh, I can just add the flower there and covering up that bird a little. But um, I am aware that this might um, give me a little trouble once I will put um, punch holes into this page to, to it, will, it will get a ring binding. That's how I usually do my Traveler's Notebook albums that I create. So here I am adding the last cluster there of flower, flower next to the birdhouse right next to where the title is. And then I have create for this one I actually created my own word strips um, right in silhouette because I was um, wanting to um, match the colors and this is for my mom and it's in German and so um, I just, um, dis just wrote out some words that would work well with the theme of this page of it being my mom was getting ready for um, a spring season to get all the birdhouses. She has a ton of birdhouses in their backyard um, and uh, um, a bunch of them are usually occupied every year. She'll, she'll find out when she um, usually, usually cleans them out at the beginning of the year just to make sure that they're ready for the next generation baby birds. Um, so, um, and um, some of the word strips are, though came with this collection and then I just um, used the color picker for the same kind of color and then added my own little word sentiments there that like I said go with the theme of this page but anyway this is my page done all I need to do is now flip it around and use the back side of it to um, cut it apart and uh, then that's that I'm going to leave you with some more close-ups I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did consider subscribing and I hope you have a great day thanks for watching bye